Fuck, man. You can see really the, how the earth rotates. How quickly it moves. It's going towards like linear. Yet it looks like completely moving apart. The sound is coming. Can you slowly hear like a fucking airplane? Uh, guys, this is actually a rocket, a spaceship going to the ISS, take it to astronauts. I'm not sure if you can clearly see it. I think one part just got released. Yeah, over there. It's located south-southwest of Kazakhstan, which is part of the Soviet Union back in the days until it existed, right? Baikonur actually, in Kazakh it means wealthy brown and you may translate or interpret it that fertile land with many herbs. To get there, you need to go through one of the two police checkpoints which are located on the two main roads heading from the highway to the city. Now, to visit Baikonur, you need a permit. Why you need a permit is quite simple because it's a military area and it belongs to the Russian Federation. To get a permit, uh, you don't need to do too much. Just fill out a couple of documents in Russian, unfortunately, but hey, you can just ask someone to help you. Ten days prior, you are expected arrival and one to three days, you have to pay $30. Now, you don't need to pay this $30 before the two presidents are shaking hands over deal or deals most likely Nazarbayev Kazakh side and Putin Russian side it's not only that we sneaked into Baikonur for free of charge but guess what as we're walking at the edge of the city southern part we have a hot spot here. I can smell the sulfur from distance and we came here it turns out it's a hot water actually look warm so after not having a shower for the third day i think it's really the way to get refreshed so let's go and check it out hey you gotta be the first in everything hey Guys, if anybody ever will tell you you get to pay the price for everything, that's fucking bullshit, eh? We were told the same, guess what? Jack fucking free it is. So stay tuned, we are going to the landing stage here. And afterwards, see the rocket launch. You can see here how Baikonur changed its name over the time and, became, and ended up being named Baikonur. And of course, on the main square, the main main square, who else could that be than Lenin? He's facing towards Mother Russia. These like abandoned but not destroyed buildings this is like soviet style when they don't demolish the building but they just like wall it up board or board up the windows you get to see this russian this post-soviet preserved architecture with this small mosaic uh outer insulation these pipes are just insane that none not a single pipe seems to be taken underground all of them are going like a good two and a half three meters over a ground on these poles
This is the Sirdaria, the river that supplies water to the Aral Sea, the Aral Sea which is about to disappear soon enough. The other three sides are uh, three meters tall concrete walls. Heaps garages. There is a hole on this concrete wall, the concrete wall that surrounds actually the Russian part Baikonur. You get to see this no man's land. Then you get to see this green mesh fence with hard wires. There was another like factory long time closed and now they do some vulcanization over there. By this factory's concrete wall has five square meters hole. Guys, as you could see, it's super, super easy to sneak in and sneak out of Baikonur. Uh, yeah, there are two Baikonurs. One is the Kazakh part, one is the, one is the Russian part. And none of them make a huge difference. I mean, this is just a dirt village if you like it, even though there are all Russian signs and uh, descriptions, Russian flags. But on a grand scale, it doesn't make any difference. In fact, I was walking 10 fucking kilometers and I feel that my uh, my legs are fading away and that's the only benefit I get like a morning routine morning exercise because yeah Lenin statues can be found anywhere basically as well as like these magazines whereas you can purchase products for rubbles not color tenge but guess what that's all the only difference you get because you still get the same products nevertheless the way to Baikonur it's not through the police station but through the smart way right. We decided that we're going to head towards east on the main road and uh, after hitchhiking 12 kilometers we wanted to reach this lake which was like a good two kilometers north from the highway here you can see one turkish guy one russian guy and one hungarian there you go with the rocket launch uh, we started looking to the wrong launch pad because there are three different spots where where we were expecting the rocket launch but after a couple hundred meters over ground one of us spotted the rocket guys check it out there is the motherfucking rocket ISS here you go You can see it up there in the road on the horizon. Uh, the cars are going back and forth between uh, Aktobe and Kislorda. <laughs> 